What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the TCL 4X 5G and the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2021. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about either of these phones individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So with the TCL 4X 5G, we're getting a 6.52 inch LCD display with a resolution of 720p, a PPI of 320, and an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. With the Moto G Stylus 5G 2021, we're getting a 6.8 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080p, a PPI of 386, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio as well. So while on one hand, the TCL 4X 5G does have a pretty decent display for what it is, the Moto G Stylus 5G is definitely quite a bit better. First of all, at 6.8 inches versus 6.52, the Moto G Stylus 5G is clearly larger, which is definitely a good thing if you're gonna be on your phone a lot. And in addition to this, with the 1080p resolution versus 720p, the Moto G Stylus 5G does have a sharper image too, so in general, if you're going to be consuming a lot of content, whether you're watching videos, looking at photos, playing games, or even just using social media, no matter what you're doing, the Moto G Stylus 5G is definitely going to be a much better choice if you're going to be on your phone a lot. But that being said, on the other hand, if you do end up with the TCL 4X 5G, keep in mind that while again, the Moto G Stylus 5G does have the better display of the two, for what it is, the TCL 4X 5G really doesn't look bad either. Now for storage, the TCL 4X 5G is getting 64 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, and the Moto G Stylus 5G G is getting 128 gigabytes with micro SD card expansion as well. So definitely here, the Moto G Stylus 5G does have a huge advantage having double the internal storage of the TCL 4X 5G. So if you're more of a power user, if you have a bunch of games and apps and stuff like that, then I would definitely go with the Moto G Stylus 5G for that reason. But that being said, with the TCL 4X 5G, 64 gigabytes while definitely not being ideal in my opinion, for the average user is at least acceptable. So while again, if you're really putting a lot of stuff on your phone, the Moto G Stylus 5G will obviously have a huge advantage here. If you're more of an average user, if you're not really doing a ton with your phone, then as long as you're mindful of what you're putting on it and you make sure to use a micro SD card, you will at least get by with the TCL 4X 5G. Now for security features, both phones have face unlock and they both have fingerprint scanners right here in the back. But starting with the TCL 4X 5G, let's go ahead and give them a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the Moto G Stylus 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, remember, both phones do have face unlock too. So if you wanna use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the TCL 4X 5G, we got a 13 megapixel front facing camera. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 16 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel ultra wide camera, and a two megapixel macro camera. So definitely a good camera setup here. And keep in mind, even though this phone doesn't actually have a depth sensing camera, in my experience, portrait mode still works pretty much the same as it does on any other phone. With the Moto G Stylus 5G, we got a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Then on the back, we got a quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel main camera, an eight megapixel ultra wide camera, a five megapixel macro camera, and a two megapixel depth sensing camera. So when it comes to features, both phones have pretty much everything, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. So definitely good setups here. So if you're taking a lot of photos and you want a wider variety of features, you really won't go wrong with either phone. That being said though, I do think in general, when it comes to quality, the Moto G Stylus 5G does take slightly better photos. Honestly, the difference isn't really huge compared to something like a $1,400 flagship phone, for example, or even an upper-end mid-range phone like the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, the photo quality is not really gonna be that great on either of these phones. But for more casual things like social media, for example, if you're really just taking a few photos here and there for stuff like that, either phone will get the job done. And again, I would say overall between the two, the Moto G Stylus 5G's photo quality is a little bit better. But that being said, of course, the difference isn't really that huge. So if you do end up with the TCL 4X 5G for a more casual user, I do think most people will still have a pretty good experience with the camera here. Now, when it comes to the RAM and processor, these phones are actually pretty much exactly the same, both of them having 4 gigabytes of RAM and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 5G processor. So considering this, as you can probably imagine, you're really not going to see a significant performance difference between the two. Both phones are decently fast, especially for everyday activities like web browsing, social media, streaming content like videos and music, and some light gaming here and there. So when it comes to performance, for the average user, I do think you will get a decent experience with either phone. That being said though, for more high-end activities, if you're really going to be on your phone a lot, or maybe you're doing higher performance 
performance gaming like Call of Duty or something like that, these phones will struggle a little because while being pretty fast for what they are, especially the TCL 4X 5G, which I personally got for $80, compared to a much higher end device, these phones are still nowhere near that level. So if you're coming from maybe an older flagship phone like a Samsung Galaxy S10, for example, that is definitely something to think about because if that's the case, then either of these phones is probably gonna be quite a bit of a downgrade. Now, that being said, I did run Geekbench 5 benchmark tests here, and here are the scores I got. Again, really not a huge performance difference. Technically, the TCL 4X 5G scored a little bit higher, but again, in practice, they have the same RAM and processor, and they're gonna be pretty much the same. But what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and comparing your results to these, and that's gonna give you a better idea of whether or not these phones will be an upgrade for you. Because again, depending on what you're coming from, if you're coming from a really entry-level device, then chances are one of these phones is definitely gonna be a solid upgrade. But again, if you're coming from an older but higher-end phone, these phones might be a downgrade instead. For the batteries, the TCL 4X 5G has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery that I believe supports 10 watt fast charging, and the Moto G Stylus 5G has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that supports 10 watt fast charging as well. So in general, the battery specs really aren't too different here, but if you want the absolute best battery life you can get between the two, then of course, the Moto G Stylus 5G does have a slightly larger battery, so this will be a better choice. But that being said, in general, if you're not too concerned about battery life and you just want something decent that works, keep in mind a 4,500 milliamp hour battery still is not small, and the TCL 4X 5G is going to be perfectly fine. Now as far as other features go, unfortunately neither phone has NFC, so if you like to use tap and pay and that's really an important feature for you, then you're probably going to want to go with something else. Another thing I do want to point out here is that with the Moto G Stylus 5G, of course, as the name suggests, this phone does have a stylus, making it one of the few phones you can actually get in this day and age that has this feature. So in general, if you do want a phone with a stylus, the Moto G Stylus 5G will have an advantage there. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, in pretty much every way, the Moto G Stylus 5G is the better device. Despite having pretty much the exact same performance, the Moto G Stylus 5G has a much better display, a lot more storage, a camera that has at least slightly better photo quality, a larger battery, and again, this phone of course does have a stylus. But that being said, on the other hand, the TCL 4X 5G is definitely not a bad phone either, and aside from the display and storage, it's not really that far behind the Moto G Stylus 5G in a lot of other areas. And something else I do want to point out here is that with the TCL 4X 5G, this phone in general is quite a bit cheaper than the Moto G Stylus 5G, and although this phone, being over a year old now, is definitely pretty inexpensive too, seeing that I personally got this phone for $80, while the Moto G Stylus 5G is still inexpensive, as of the recording of this video, it's still not that inexpensive. So in general, if you want the best phone between the two, maybe you're going to be using your phone a lot, and you want a better display, a lot more storage, and a better camera, the Moto G Stylus 5G is going to be a much better choice. But if you really just want a phone for the basics, you want decent performance, a pretty good camera, an okay amount of storage, a battery that's at least going to get the job done and you really just don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a phone in that kind of situation, I do think the TCL 4X 5G is going to be a great choice and it honestly does provide a lot of value for the money. But this concludes my comparison between the TCL 4X 5G and the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.